Hi wonderful people, welcome back to my channel. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Chichi and I'm a YouTuber living in Germany. So today I will be sharing with you guys the step-to-step -step process for applying a visa to Germany. This video will strictly be for my Nigerian people. You know what I'm just gonna break it down it is not so easy actually it's easier to go to the embassy to apply for a German visa <laughs> than it is to get an admission to study in a German university I think one of the reasons is that there's so much competition there is so much application from students all over the world and guys you know the reason why because studying in Germany is free so guys a lot of competition a lot of students wants to move to Germany students from Russia from Mexico from Africa from all part of the world everyone wants to come to Germany and why that's the top reason it's because it's free to study in Germany in bachelor and in master's degree program so guys um, I will slide this process into five steps the first step will be preparation so the first thing you need to do is when you think of when you've just thought of when you've just made up your mind that you want to study in Germany first thing you have to do is to check which semester do I want to join which semester do I want to get an admission which semester do I want to start my study my advice I would say try to prepare one year before i think six months is too little to really um, go through the whole process of getting an admission and an application for your visa from the embassy so like so like i say guys the first step would be try as much as possible to find out when you would want to start studying at this university and prepare yourself one year before so sitting right there in my office i just called my friend back home and I said, you know what, how do I get my transcript of record? Because I realized since I finished my bachelor's degree um, was maybe um, in 2015, I had finished my bachelor's degree and I, I haven't received my certificate, you know? So I thought, okay, the best thing is the schools I checked for, um, they were okay with the transcript of record. So I called my friend back home and said, you know what? How do I get my transcript of record? So guys, this is the first process. Usually if you don't have your certificate at hand, you need your transcript of record. And with this, you can apply to the universities. So um, the, the, in this first step, aside getting your transcript of record, you also need to authenticate your certificate. So what it means is that when you finally gotten your transcript of record, you take this transcript as well as your high school certificate. You do not necessarily require your high school transcript. You take it right there to the embassy. It is the Ministry of Education in Abuja. And in this place, you will authenticate your certificate. So authentication means that you, the, the Ministry of, of Education will verify that your transcript of record of your university um, is, is real and also your high school certificate is real. So they will stamp it probably back and forth, front and back, something like this, and they will give it back to you. And with these papers, you're going to take it again to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, guys. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, this is necessary because you are living out of the country you're traveling out of the country so you need they need to verify they need to see the authentication from the um, the authentication from the Ministry of Education and then they would also stamp it give it some stamp back and forth and at the same time they give it back to you but I think it would be nice if you make several copies of your transcript as well as your um, high school certificate so when you take it to the Ministry of Education and they stamp it you can as well make more copies of that particular stamped papers and then going to the Ministry of, um, of um, Foreign Affairs they would also 
authenticated you know and then with this you have maybe four or five copies which is enough for you to send your applications to four or five universities yeah so that is the first step the first step like i said get your transcript of record or your certificate if you have not if you haven't received it from your university um the reason why is because i was applying for a master's program so if you apply for a bachelor's program that is a different thing entirely you just need the transcript of your high school um, and the set the certificate from your high school which is probably the SSCE and the NECO or WAYEC or something like this so guys this is the first step and after you've done this we move on to the second step and the second step now will be that you have to find out which universities to apply for so you use this website DAAD DAAD is the official German exchange German academic exchange services they are the ones in this website you find all universities in Germany offering different courses of studies and you can select which study is related to your your career whatever you want to push you guys so I will stress it here that it's so important to take a study program that is so related to what you've done before so which means that if you are in a science background or in a commercial background please take a course if you want to study for the especially if you want to study for the master's program please go for a course that is related to what you've previously studied and in this way you stand higher chances of getting admission into this university and like i say guy is it guys it is really competitive so try as much as possible to apply to three four five universities but then choose these universities based on the high level of confidence that you are gonna get this admission yeah so that is the second step finding out the university you want to apply to and start sending in your application and also sending in your application to these universities is in two steps you can send directly to the university itself otherwise you can use another portal called uni assist so uni assist is another body it's another organization in germany what they do is they help these universities to go through this to, to go through the application of thousands of thousands of students and they pick out those those students or those applications which are really sound enough for this um, um, course of study and they send it to the university so what happens is uni assist is not um uni assist is not a free um, um, it's not a free application or it's not a free organization I think when you have to send the first application it costs 75 euros um, that should be about 25,000 or that tw or 28,000 or something there about and that's for the first application and then for the subsequent application takes 30 euro per application yeah so usually um you can you can decide to send to three or four universities which means you pay 75 euro at the first application and then the after the the next applications you pay 30 euros each so guys this is why i this is why i'm insisting that you you send applications to schools where you have higher chances of getting admission so that you don't spend too much money for nothing so this is the second step and then the third step would be find out from this university if you um, if you have to write an examination called IELTS so if you are studying in German if your course of study or the language of your study program is in German which that means automatically that you should you must have learned German you know I mean it's, it's, it's quite simple but if your um, language of study is in English 
then these universities will require IELTS. I would advise you for IELTS, you need about one to two months preparation time to write this exam. Don't rush into it. Don't think it's English and then yeah, we speak English and we write English in you know in Nigeria, so it's all easy busy. No guys, you need to go through the process, you need to know what are the techniques and the structure of this exam in order before you attempt it. First of all, this exam cost I think it cost about hundred thousand if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. No, I wrote mine in Dubai, so it cost me one thousand dirhams. But in Nigeria this this um, exam cost about 70,000 naira. So guys, don't don't just throw the money away. You have to get prepared. It it is easy, but it is not that easy. It it has a structure. You need to check for, you know, um, for study of, of this of how to write this exam on YouTube or there's so many materials in the Nigerian uh, Community of people who wants to travel to Germany You can source for information and prepare at least one to two months before you write this exam So when you get this particular paper, it's valid for two years So which means after two years it's expired and then after you write this exam you can get the result in 14 days yes okay guys so that is the third step and then the fourth step in this process after you have received the IELTS and then you've applied and you've sent your application to um, through uni assist or through the respective um, respective universities do not forget you need a wonderful motivation letter to study so what is a motivation letter to study? Basically, the universities wants to see what are your reasons, what what motivates you, what makes you excited to want to study this degree program and why in Germany as well. So guys, your motivation letter should be top-notch. <laughs> your motivation letter should prove that you are you are you you are an open-minded um, curious person who wants to not just travel but you want to learn and then you want to be you know international yeah <laughs> so the fourth step in this process is when you have sent your application guys and I think this is very important when you've sent your application to the universities and now you're waiting please have it in mind that you're gonna be waiting for at least um, two to four months yeah basically between two to four months also depending on when you applied and depending on the university now in this particular step I would love to advise you please learn German take this time two three months or four months to learn as much German as you can because you would need it it doesn't matter which part of um, which part of the city you find yourself in Germany I think learning German will give you a very nice like a soft landing when you come to Germany so that you you wouldn't feel so stressed you wouldn't you wouldn't just feel like you dropped into a place and everyone is speaking something that is so different from from what you thought even though people in Germany speak Eng as they speak English usually that wouldn't be the first approach to you they would definitely come at you with german and when you say yeah ich spreche kein deutsch and then they would say ah tut mir leid and then they can actually um, start speaking english with you but it would be nice if you at least get to an a2 level and if you're if you love german that much you can also push it to a b1 level and that would give you like i say a really good landing when you move to germany so like in the, like I said also in the fourth step um, you have to prepare yourself mentally because you are coming to a foreign country you have to prepare yourself mentally and if you're applying from Nigeria this is the time that you start to you start to search um, I think from what I heard the last time that was uh, maybe in 2019 this was last year um, usually when you want to book an appointment at the Nigerian Embassy in Lagos um, you get like a waiting period for three to three months I think they're about so guys if you have a high confidence that you really get this admission I would advise you 
to book an appointment for an interview at the embassy um, but I think the situation has changed right now because the embassy actually right now need to see that you've actually received your admission before they give you a, a slot for the interview that's because a lot of people just book the interview ahead and they don't have their um, they don't have the admission and then they they kind of like block the other people who actually have their admission right at hand to get an interview slot and that's because of the high level of application especially in the Lagos Embassy I would advise you guys if you want to apply for the um, if you if you are living in any other part of the country that is not Lagos try to go to Abuja um, to to attend the interview try to uh, try to apply or attend the the, the the visa interview in um in abuja that would that would be like really really stress free for you than applying to lagos so that's one tip and then the other thing i would like to say is actually in my own case i applied for my interview from dubai and it was so it was pretty 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 much easy for me um i had no basically no issues with this application it was <laughs> I, I was there for maybe i think about 10 minutes and that was it and then they called me two weeks after to pick up my visa so guys i think this is the fourth step and and the fifth step um what will be the fifth fifth step <laughs> so guys i'm just trying to um, think of you know the steps one after the other but yeah so that would be the the fourth step and then the fifth step would be trying as much as possible to start searching for accommodation because that is another very long process guys it's a very very long process trying to find an accommodation in the in the town or in the city where you will be studying is a very long process so take this time for the fifth step to you know start looking start searching please do not send money to anyone or anybody just for them to reserve an accommodation for you it is illegal and there are a lot of scams try to contact the isa which is the international student um, assistant of your university to help you secure an admission and also try to contact the student in vec of the university where you will be studying they are also a very good student body that can help you secure an admission without stress but like i said there is a lot of competition which means there is a lot of requests for these rooms or apartments before the session or the academic session starts so which means that you have to be fast you know that's why i'm emphasizing that you take it step by step and you you are you you do it fast so that you don't get really caught up and stressed out when the time comes so guys this will be the end of this video and i hope you really enjoy these tips i will be sharing with you the next series of this video where i will be talking about when you finally received your admission and then you have to prepare for the interview i will be sharing with you my thoughts I will be sharing with you the questions I was asked even though like I said I applied from Dubai and I received my, my visa from Dubai which was a, a little bit easier process but I will be sharing with you my the, the questions that I was asked and my thoughts and how you can easily secure your admission to Germany at the end of the day guys I would just want to you know give an advice be confident when you're applying for this visa because I think it's an exciting and it's a nice thing you're, you're going for so you you should you should have a high level of enthusiasm when you are applying for this visa and be confident like I said be confident um, and, and and that's it you know when the when the interviewer sees that you're really confident and really excited and also you've learned a bit of German and then you can express yourself in German I think that they find that very impressive as well so guys I hope you enjoyed my video please do not forget to like it and to subscribe to my channel and that would make me really really happy and I look forward to the next video with you guys so I wish you all a wonderful 
end of the week and see you soon.